How's America doing? Well, let's look at the top words of the year for answers. Oxford Dictionary says the top word of 2018 is toxic. While Dictionary.com says the top prize goes to misinformation. Oi. All of this explains why the lie of the year, according to PolitiFact, was the online smear machine that tried to take down and discredit the survivors of the Parkland shooting by calling the students crisis actors. Uh, Joan and Oliver are back with me. Oliver, did you like this choice for lie of the year? I, I thought it was good. I, there were a lot of lies this year, <laughs> but I thought this kind of cut into what 2018 was, which was there are these online corners of the internet that spread, that start these conspiracy theories, and then it sort of seeps into the mainstream dialogue. So I thought in that regard, it was a good lie of the year. One of the tools uh, that are that's used to spread misinformation, of course, is YouTube. YouTube is a huge platform for these lies and smears. And there was a great new Washington Post story examining this uh, on Tuesday. Let me show you a quote from it. Uh, the Post says, the platform YouTube routinely serves videos espousing neo-Nazi propaganda, phony reports portraying dark-skinned people as violent savages, and conspiracy theories claiming that large numbers of leading politicians and celebrities molested children. Just a sampling of, of the sewer that is YouTube. So you were on Capitol Hill for the Google CEO mm -hmm. testifying this week. Of course, Google owns YouTube. So did Google have a, a strong answer, a strong response for what it's doing to try to clean up this mess? Google CEO really did not. Uh, the bottom line is he said the company needs to do better. And uh, th th that's sort of, you know, the... the crux of his answer. I think that's the what they all say. All the tech right, CEOs right. say, we need to do yeah, better. Do better. And meanwhile, my YouTube feed time. is full of pollution. The right. thing I don't understand, I, this is certainly a very complex issue, yeah. but the kind of videos that YouTube is recommending to people should be very easy to filter out. And why YouTube hasn't taken it seriously enough to just, you know, figure this out it, after a year or two of uh, uh, being pointed out and highlighted by media That's is baffling scrutiny, to me. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes it makes no sense. It should not be this difficult. Here's a slightly more positive note for our segment. The Washington Post published a, a brand new poll, first of its kind poll, by the fact checker. Uh, they tested a bunch of Trump lies, and they found this. They said fewer than three in ten Americans, including fewer than four in ten Republicans, believe the the prominent claims that the president have made uh, that that are totally made up. This was a, a notable finding, Joan. That. You know, the president can go out there and say that millions of people voted illegally. Right. He can go out there and say there's riots in California, all this, all this bull. But most people do not believe it. It, it, I think it's encouraging. I took some encouragement from it. I think the worrisome thing was, though, that even though they didn't say this is a Trump lie or this is a Trump story, they didn't put names on yeah. these on these lies. Yeah. You still have this segment that kind of matches up with the Trump, the level of strong mm -hmm. Trump support, so that somehow. Even without his name being attached, the president is getting this information into certain people's minds, and it is it is taking hold, and they now believe it. Seventy percent of the country doesn't. That's good news. Let's celebrate that. But the way he's done that to those thirty percent, they're not. They don't just politically disagree with Democrats. They hold different facts and facts that are not facts, facts that are lies, and that that's kind of scary for democracy. Right. Even three out of ten is a problem. Yeah. It's yeah. millions of people. It's Tens of millions of people. Right. Right. Yeah. Oliver, Joan, thank you both for being here. Uh, much thank appreciated. Uh, one more of the year title, a really important one. Times Person of the Year wound up being the very journalists who have been attacked, targeted, and jailed this year.